Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a new tool that I have got. It's a Unity multimeter. Okay, so let's open it together and see what we've got inside it. And I will compare it with my old multimeter and I will go through every settings on it okay so let's open it together okay this is a manual English and Chinese manual And this is, I think it is, it's all in Chinese, but I think it's a guide how you connect your multimeter with the computer to show the measurement on the display of the computer. Okay. And here is another paper, which is also in Chinese. Maybe it's a warranty card or something. Okay, so here is the main unit. The Unity UT61E+. Plus. It's pretty good in the hand. It feels high quality. Here is a USB USB connector this part here <coughs> goes here to measure different components like transistors and BN transistor BNB transistors and SMD uh, components okay and here is the USB connector that I want to show you this fits in here <coughs> like this and then you have a USB connection towards your computer to show the measurement of the multimeter in your display in your computer it has got also a thread in the back here so if you want to use a stand to hang it on okay and here is the test leads okay so let's open it and check if it does come with batteries okay so it come with no batteries I have to install some batteries and we will test it together there is two fuses in here I think they are used to protect the multimeter when you measure the in the amp range in here for example micro -amp, micro ampere milliampere and amp amperes So I will grab some batteries and we will test it together. Okay, here's the new batteries, Duracell. Let's install them. Okay, so let's test it it does work let's cover it okay let's just remove this from here so
me just connect these two test leads. Okay, so this is COM and here is to test diodes, capacitors, hertz, voltage, ohms and buzzer mode, P mode. So the very first option is to measure hertz. I don't know if you can see. Yes. Hertz and duty cycle. Voltage in AC mode. And LPF. I'm not sure what does LPF mean. Let's go through the manuals. And... It means low pass filter measurement to measure a low pass filters. Okay, the second one is voltage in DC board. AC plus DC. What does that mean? Let's go on the manuals again. DC voltage measurements, AC plus DC measurements. Does it measure AC and DC in this mode? Maybe when press when we press the yellow button, this AC plus DC is activated. Maybe it can measure both AC and DC. Okay, so the one after is millivolts AC and millivolts in DC, the yellow option and hertz and duty cycle next one is uh, diode capacitors beep mode and ohms the one after is hertz and duty cycle this option is hfe we need to install this adapter here this option is used to measure the transistors so we need to use this adapter here and then uh, use the or push the transistors inside this adapter okay so the next one is micro amps DC and if you want to measure AC you need to press this select button Hertz and duty cycle the one after is milliamp AC and DC. This is microamp, this is milliamp, and here is amps. And the last option is NCV, which this one is used to measure a power line. For example, if this is a power line, there is 220 volts on it. You just need to approach the multimeter, keep it close to the power line, and then this uh, multimeter will detect that there is a voltage on that cable. Okay. So I will start measuring some things. For example, let's test the beep mode. This is the resistance mode. It shows 0 0.0675 something like that when I touch these two uh, test leads together let's press the select button as you can see as soon as I touch these two test leads the multimeter beeps it's really fast let's compare it with my old multimeter okay this is <laughs> super slow it does not beep <clears throat> you need to hold it for 
a little longer then it will beep but this one is super fast I think it beeps also in the diode mode meaning that the diode is shorted so let's test a diode for example from this res from this uh, motherboard okay let's find a diode or a transistor so here is a transistor let's assist let's test it this side shows a short maybe it's not a short it just because it's in the circuit this side shows it's okay 0.6 if we connect these two together it's not showing anything okay so let's test some resistors let's go back to resistance and I will test let's see this resistor in here it shows 22 ohms let's use my old multimeter let's go to resistance mode it shows 22.4 and this resistor is let's go under the microscope so we can see it how much is written on it okay let's measure it again with the new multimeter and then with the old one so this one is super fast and it's really accurate it's 22 ohms as you can see 21.99 and sometimes it shows 22 okay let's go with the old one my old multimeter this one is a little bit slow but it has some tolerance as you can see it shows 22.3, 0.4, like that let's go to diode mode again and test this transistor again okay As you can see, it shows 0.5 voltage drop, but it does not beeps to allow you to know that it's reading good. Let's test with this one. Not like this. As you can see, as soon as I touch the legs of that transistor, this uh, this multimeter will allow me to know that this diode is okay by the beep sound. And if there is a short, it will automatically beeps, allowing me to know that this, this diode or this transistor is shorted. Okay, so this is a really great feature that in diode mode it beeps and it also beeps in the beep mode buzzer mode okay is really nice and it looks very 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 uh, high quality not like the old my old uh, multimeter it's not even branded so 
I will try to use the measurement USB cable on my computer and I will show you let me just try and connect it okay now I will show you how to download the software and install it in your computer first you need to go to Google and type uni dash t and then you just press this uni trend technology and then press on multimeters then go to support and then scroll down to uh, let's go to driver and software and then scroll down to your needed software for instance I want this unity ut61b plus software installation file I will download it as you can see it started to download I will wait for it to download and then I will show you how to install it my internet today I don't know what happens with it it was really fast but now 40 megabytes and it's taking 14 minutes 16 minutes 20 minutes as you can see <laughs> let's just wait for it okay now the download has finished and here is the file let's install it Windows protected your PC Microsoft Defender smart screen prevented an unrecognized app from starting running this app might boot your PC at risk more info run anyway yes okay next install finish and here is the app of the program okay so let's click connect okay as you can see now this screen in here as you can see it's my multimeter screen if I measured ohms yeah it goes to ohms let's measure that same resistor we measured before the 22 ohms resistor as you can see it's 21.9 the same as what I've got in the multimeter and also it has a graph in here so you can check your measurements it's a really beautiful multimeter okay so this is the unity ut61 e plus i can say it's really high quality and beautiful thank you for watching i hope this video will be helpful for someone and see you in another video